A rest and returning means a fresh start in every sense. Everyone wants to return better than they were before. Look at the size of Braun Strowman! He's even bigger and better than before! An Italian can prove that by coming back in peak physical condition. Carlino in unbelievable physical condition! My goodness! What's in those apples? Today we'll look at some of the best examples of those who came back completely jacked. And Rusev sure looks good it. here. Like you said, we've not seen this man in some time. Look at that form as we highlight 10 wrestlers who returned in ridiculous shape. After returning as the American Badass in 2000, The Undertaker was still in the process of getting back in ring shape following his injury, but Taker didn't truly dial it back from a physique perspective until his 2004 return as the dead man. JBL, look at this, retain the WWE title. That's a sick man. After each subsequent return, Taker would come back better and better. With a casket on fire with The Undertaker inside. Tonight, Randy Orton has seen a go. By the end of 2006, the Phenom was easily in the best shape of his career. He continued to get more ripped, displaying visible abs for the first time in his career by 2007. The dead man was in peak condition, resting killer matches and carrying SmackDown throughout the year as world champion. The Undertaker, who has never looked better in all of his career. From WrestleMania 23 on, his matches defending the streak were in-ring classics. It was the greatest thing I'd ever seen. Taker's work didn't begin to drop off until later years. Show them who the f you are. Yeah. Last year, killed this thing. At this point, the phenom now aged 52 was determined to turn back the clock and be the Taker we all know and love. To do this, he had to train incredibly hard for his match with John Cena at WrestleMania 34. The pants I wore last year. The dead man looked great, his working boots were back on, and he was ready to have another knockdown, drag out streak match once again. But sadly, his bout with Cena didn't even last three minutes. Undertaker is moving like we haven't seen in quite some time. He looks healthy, he looks agile. I came with 45. During WCW days, Eddie Guerrero didn't begin to pack on real size until returning from a torn pec injury in 1997. This coincided with his shift to a more entertaining heel character. His work continued to improve, as did his physique. People are talking about their matchup at Halloween Havoc as being possibly the match of the year for 1997. Then after injuries and addiction issues began to pile on, Eddie spent time working on the independent scene after being fired, before returning to WWE in 2002, looking more jacked than ever before. Guerrero continued continued to increase in size as the years progressed. Eddie was one of the best in the business, but becoming a top guy in the WWE meant having a heavy muscular physique. Eddie was physically exceeding his body's limits because I kept a lot of my personal issues very quiet. But it ultimately led to a prolonged push that culminated in him winning the WWE Championship in 2004. However, the demands of wrestling and maintaining his large size, as well as past addiction struggles, caught up to Eddie. Guerrero passed away from heart failure in 2005. It was as a result of him having an enlarged heart from years of steroid abuse. The Big Show's size has fluctuated during his career. In WCW, he started out leaner, agile, and quicker. Assault Seven, soldiers. Four. Oh, oh, no. oh man! But he began packing on weight to appear even more giant-like. I hid behind my size. I knew that at 500 pounds, I wasn't going to be asked to do a lot of things, so I didn't have to do a lot. You know, I think it taught him a lot, and it made him grow up a lot. Cho dropped weight after returning in 2008, but gradually put it back on as the years progressed. WWE 7 foot 450 pound New Year's baby. I'm slightly overweight. It gave a, that. See, that's the problem. This is not serious. Previously, Show was at his heaviest in 2006. It didn't seem like he would reach this size again, but in the 2010s, his weight kept increasing more and more, to the point where he knew he had to make a change. I'm a giant. We know. We heard you, John. We yes, did. you are. He just said that. I need to show me to lose weight. Why would you rock that? <laughs> it was your notepad. I can remember sitting outside in the car eating an ice cream, waiting on somebody else to work out. God, I've been overweight my whole career. The catalyst for this came after a conversation with John Cena. Cena made a sarcastic remark after show questioned who would want to see a giant with abs. You just a fat slob with hairy baloney. This lit a fire under the world's largest athlete. It motivated show to begin training hard and dieting down, allowing him to get in the best shape of his career. I'm going to get a six pack to shove it right up John Cena's friggin' nose. That's where we started. I'm a better talent now, a better athlete and a better performer than I've ever been. You're looking a little thin. Are you joining the Cruiserweight division? The shape the Big Show has gotten himself into, perhaps the best of his career. That Big Show looks to be in the best shape of his life. 
By the 2000s, The Rock was in tip-top condition, resting at the height of his game. But as his attention shifted more towards Hollywood, The Great One chose to gradually slim down so he could fit in better as a movie star. Now let's let's not go to the gym as much. Let's lean down, slim down, so you can be like everybody else. Yeah. In 2001, Rock was in immense condition, which meant when he returned, he was faster, lighter on his feet, and more agile in the ring. The Rock was still the absolute best, performing at a high level, all while looking just as good as he ever had. But the People's Champion would soon leave the WWE to do movies full-time. But Rock didn't start to find any real success in Hollywood until he stopped trying to fit in, which meant bulking up and adding more muscle mass. I realized that my size would work in my benefit once I decided to embrace who I was. When the Brahma Bull returned to WWE in 2011, he was now a bigger star than ever before, in both a physical sense and as a box office attraction. <laughs> Okay, wait a second, we got one side chanting, you still got it, another side chanting, welcome back. We gotta make up our minds. Hey! <laughs> what a bottle! Jinder Mahal was in decent shape during his first run with WWE until he got released in 2014. He returned to the company in the summer of 2016 to wrestle on Raw following the brand extension. When Mahal first came back, he wasn't in the best of shape, since he'd only just begun to work out properly again. But as the months progressed, Jinder's physique got better and better, and by the end of the year, he was in tremendous physical condition. Mahal has gotten himself in tremendous shape. What is that on your skin? Are those veins? You look like a road map. Too bad you ain't going nowhere, you don't. Follow Following this, Mahal began to appear more on television. Big E, big cast, more like big goofs. They're haters, they're haters, uh, haters, I tell you. You're gonna prime for success, how about prime for a KO? Almost ended it right there. And was given a feature role in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal at WrestleMania. Oh, 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 After being drafted to SmackDown, Jinder quickly shot up the card. I mean, you're shredded to the bone. There, I know you're working really hard. There's nobody in the WWE that's out training me. There's nobody in the WWE that's out dieting me. Becoming the WWE champion, much to the surprise of many. And listen to this. Jinder Mahal is the new WWE champion. It's no secret how much Vince McMahon appreciates a great physique. This, along with the company wanting to make greater waves in the Indian market, led to Jinder's push throughout 2017. In a similar vein to Jinder, Maven didn't have a big muscular physique upon initially working for the WWE. And this didn't change for Maven until he returned from injury in 2004. Maven has been quite open about how he used steroids to achieve this look, saying how using them made his matches against bigger wrestlers more believable. I was a little bit out of shape when I went back, and guys were ribbing me and everything, and you best believe I got home, and yeah, I was pounding, I was pounding stuff. My second promo shot. I'm not getting that, those results without these performance enhancers. His new shredded physique also offered him greater opportunities within the company. And this is especially true for the period in which he returned. Maven was now much more figured into TV and storylines compared to before he got injured. It's not about the money, the women, the cars. It's about the passion. It's about being world heavyweight champion. Appearing regularly on Raw, resting the likes of Kane and Batista. Oh God! No! You gotta be kidding me! Maven even got to the main event of Raw versus the world champion Triple H. Maven also featured heavily in that year's Survivor Series where he helped his team to victory and then turned heel shortly after. He can't even spell the word title. T-I-T-L-E. I spell. Give me no Watch it, Maven. Oh, no! Oh, what the Maven! Perhaps the most famous bulk up following an injury came courtesy of Triple H in 2002. After tearing his quad in 2001, it felt like I'd been shot in the thigh. The game went through intense rehab, adopting an intense training regime that saw him balloon in size upon his return. I don't know how many people would have done that. The frustration, the rehabilitation. Triple H with a oh. Triple H has just pedigreed two members on the way to hell, and I'm sure as hell want to know why. Triple H downsized in the years that followed, as he and wife Stephanie began to have children. Second quad tear in 2007 meant another spell on the sidelines, which in turn allowed Helmsley to trim down and get leaner for ahead of his return at SummerSlam. Butterflies in his stomach the size of eagles! 
Rey Mysterio has also had his fair share of injuries. His first major injury on his knee occurred in 1998. Mysterio came back six months later quite heavier with increased muscle mass, but Rey only lasted a month before getting hurt again. This continued what would become a history of recurring knee injuries. He's come back from serious knee surgery. Mysterio was at his biggest after debuting for WWE in 2002. Given Vince McMahon's preference for bigger wrestlers, Rey got as big as he possibly could for this run, weighing 175 pounds despite being no taller than 5 foot 3. All that extra weight taking bumps on such a small frame likely contributed to Mysterio's string of subsequent knee problems. Rey had toned down his style upon joining WWE, but the injuries still caught up with him. By 2014, the injuries had piled up to where a much slower Rey was resting in a top. He was badly burnt out and needed a break. He's buried away. This could be the end of the JBL and Cole show. <laughs> Mysterio then returned four years later to much fanfare with a ripped physique, performing like he hadn't missed the beat. He's here! Oh, we're not kidding you, King! That's my king! Mysterio! To the skies! Oh, oh, oh wow. man! From Watch the Ray. top! Whoa. Ray got them both! Doubled up! Ray Mysterio! Oh! What a counter! Andrade in big, big trouble right now! Oh my god! There goes Andrade! Edge stopped working out in 2005 due to injuries. He was no longer ripped like he'd been in the years prior, and he wouldn't be again until returning in 2020. The Rated R Superstar looked fantastic. He put in tremendous work in the gym while also maintaining a healthy diet. When that man comes up with an idea, there ain't no stopping him. It's a hard life on Celtic Warrior workouts as I just sweat, just sweat into my eye. What I do is I add some sliced apples, half a banana, some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Despite being limited to initially resting in front of TV screens, Edge was at the peak of his powers, putting in some of his best work while also looking like a million bucks. I got in the best shape of my life at 46 years old so I could step back in here. They'd say it's impossible. Uh, it can never happen, it's not realistic. Yet here we are. Gunter was famous for his imposing physique, which while not incredibly muscular, worked perfect for his ring general character. Get ready for the fireworks! It has been a horrendous night! In terms of WWE brands, Gunter had been working mostly for NXT UK prior to 2022, but following a brief hiatus, Gunter made the jump to the US version of the show, with the intention of getting him groomed for the main roster. Once he learned of these plans, the ring general began to get in better shape. Once I moved to the States, I knew the purpose for moving there is to be in the main roster at some point. So I was like, I gotta bring an updated version of myself. By the time Gunter debuted on SmackDown, he was like a different person compared to how he looked even just six months prior, losing 65 pounds in total. The longest reigning Intercontinental Champion had always been known for his high performance in the ring, but now he had the physique to match it. For Mysterio. And now a 250 pounder with a massive drop kick. Becoming one of the standout wrestlers in WWE from 2022 onwards. I need your me one more time i will knock your black head off your dad body you dumb son of a bitch now if you enjoyed this video be sure to check out our similar video where we rank the top 10 craziest wwe returns that made fans go nuts have a great day and i'll see you next time